creating invoices. With TrackOps, you can create invoices to bill your client and track payments. Let's take a look at this process. While TrackOps comes with several default invoice items, you will likely need to create your own to suit the needs of your company. To do this, go to Settings, then Finance, and Invoice and Expense Items. Here you can edit and create new invoice items that will appear on your client's price list. Click New Item to make your custom invoice item. The item's name will be the default title for this item. To ensure this item appears as an item capable of being invoiced, check Use as Invoice Item. These items are billed to the client. Check the Override Alias box and change the invoice item name if you need to describe it differently when invoicing. Place the invoice unit rate you charge the client and select the default tax rate. You can add your own tax rate by going to Settings, Finances, and Tax Rates. You can add a default invoice description, though you'll be able to add a description to your invoice items whenever you create or edit an invoice. To ensure that this item appears as a billable expense, check Use as Expense Item. These items are input by your employees and vendors for services rendered. When you've completed creating your invoice items, you can further customize them based upon your client and client location price lists. You can find these price lists and add custom prices and tax rates by going to Client, select the Client, then select the Price List tab. To adjust the price list of client locations, go to Client, Locations, select the location you want to adjust, then the Price List tab. These customized prices will override the default prices if used. When you create an invoice for a case, you have the option to add billable expenses to the invoice. You can do this by clicking on the Billing tab when viewing a case. From here, you have a great view of your billable expenses and their invoice counterparts. You can see the grand total of your expense items with their adjusted invoice rates. Check the box to the expense you want to add to the invoice and select Convert to Invoice. You can create a new invoice or append an existing one. You may also copy any expense notes over to the invoice or combine like items into one line item. Once the items have been converted to an invoice, you can complete the invoice. If you need to come back and continue your work on your invoice at a later date, you can check the Draft Invoice box. If you are ready to send your invoice to the client, you can save invoice and send it to them right away, or download it as a PDF to print or save for your records. If need be, you can create an invoice that is not associated with a case by going directly to Invoices and then New Invoices. When payment comes in for your case and you want to apply it to an invoice, go to your Invoice list select the invoice and enter payment. You can also make multiple payments at once, selecting the invoices you want to make payment on and hit enter payments. Once you have made payment on an invoice, you will see that its status shifts from paid or partially paid if the invoice has not been paid in full. If you're on retainer with your client, you can withdraw from that retainer when creating the invoice. Just scroll down towards the bottom below the invoice items and click the link next to Available Retainer Funds. To create and manage your retainers, go to Invoices, then Retainers. TrackOps offers ways to export your invoice data or integrate it with other services. To find out more, visit our knowledge base. It's important to keep track of your sales trends and profits. TrackOps provides a robust catalog of reports that groups, breaks down, and compares your sales performance. Thank you for using TrackOps.